Hey there, y'all. Welcome. Today, I'm going to teach you about the vodka trick for weight loss. So stay tuned. I know that's piqued your curiosity. I'll tell you more about that. Just so you know, this video is part of an entire weight loss series. So if you are interested in this topic, I would encourage you to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single video. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Lisa Duke. I'm a certified life and weight coach through the Life Coach School. And I'm using the tools that I've learned and that I've created, one of which I'm teaching you today to lose over 40 pounds since last July, 50 pounds in total. So even though my approach is probably kind of different from what you've heard about in the past, there's no counting. If you are exercising, you can continue to do so, but this is not about um, killing yourself with exercise. It's about using your mind to help support your weight loss. So I am confident this will work for you just as it has for me. So the vodka trick. Most of the clients that I work with on weight loss are trying to cut down on refined carbohydrates, so sugar and flour. Since we all know sugar is just empty calories, flour actually very quickly breaks down in your system into basically sugar as well. So a lot of empty calories really spikes up your insulin, puts you into fat storage mode, not good for helping you with your weight loss goals. So now, I believe, and there is a lot of research that shows that sugar is actually addictive. So before you try this technique that I'm going to tell you about, it's important that you know how addictable you are. Um, for some people, any sugar and flour all sets off their addiction and cravings. So it's like playing with heroin. If you've gotten off of heroin, not recommending this for everyone. But if you are not super addictable and you want to cut down on sugar without completely eliminating it, this little mental trick may help you moderate your consumption. So what I would recommend you do is go through your whole day and write down what you ate. And if the food had sugar or is mostly sugar or turns into sugar in your system, so anything with sugar and flour, Substitute the word vodka as you're writing it out. So this would be an example of a day with um, a very moderate amount of sugar, which we're going to replace as vodka. So this is actually my meal plan for today. So this morning I'm doing intermittent fasting. So I'm just going to have black coffee. Um, and then for lunch, I'll have a salad with some protein on it and some fat in the form of the dressing. And, um, then for dinner, I'll probably have some protein with cooked veggies or maybe another salad with protein and fat and then vodka. So by, and then vodka, I might mean like a little scoop of ice cream. So when you say it, in the context of the whole day, it doesn't sound that bad, especially if this were like a Friday. So that sounds pretty reasonable. So if I eat clean all week and then I eat that way maybe once on the weekend, I can still have a little sugar and kind of maintain my weight loss. Now, I want you to think about what might be a more typical day for an American. So they get up in the morning, they put two big spoonfuls of sugar in their coffee. So substitute the word vodka for sugar. All of a sudden, people are going to have an in intervention. If you told your friends, I get up in the morning and the first thing I do is have a cup of coffee with two spoonfuls of vodka in it, people would be concerned. Now you go on to the rest of your day. Maybe you drive through Starbucks and you get a big blended coffee drink, right? So imagine that is co coffee with vodka again, and then you get a pastry, right? Which we know that flour and sugar turns all into sugar in your blood system. So I have coffee with vodka with a side of vodka. Like this sounds a little worrying. Then you get to a meeting and maybe there's bagels and pastries at the 10 a.m. meeting, right? So then I went to work and I went into the meeting and there was a big thing of vodka on the table and everybody in the meeting had vodka, right? Like your friends would be really concerned. So this is kind of a mental trick to decide, like, am I having sugar very infrequently as an occasional treat? You know, knowing that it might mean that I plateau instead of losing weight this week, 
that's okay, in my opinion, if that is consistent with your goals. But if you're having sugar all day long and you substitute the word sugar or flour for vodka, you can very quickly see like, ooh, this might be a bit much. I might have a problem. So if you are the kind of person who can eat sugar in moderation and you want to continue to do so, that's a little mental trick to help you balance how much you have and how often you have it. So question for y'all, are sweets your weakness? Are you looking for new mental strategies to clean up your diet? Something besides just sort of white knuckling it and forcing and suffering. If so, leave your questions in the comments below. I'd be happy to research those, share the answer if I can find it or if I know it, and I'll put that in future videos so you can get that information for free. Um, if you'd like to learn more about how I can help you hit your weight loss goals, I would love to visit with you one-on-one. -on -one. You can just pick a time that works for both of us on my online calendar. That's available at lisaduke.net slash schedule. Um, if you're not a native English speaker, schedule is a weird wor word. It's spelled S-C-H-E-D-U-L-E. But it's always available. If none of those times work, um, a lot of times I can kind of shift my schedule around. So send me an email, lisa at lisaduke.net. If you found this video interesting and useful, please like it so that other people can find it and subscribe to my channel for more related content in the future. And in the meantime, check out these other videos to help support you in your weight loss journey. Thanks for joining me. See you later. Bye.